welcome back to my channel y'all see this beat this beat is bomb y'all it is bomb <laughs> if you guys are new here um welcome to my channel please don't leave with that hitting that bell and then hitting that subscribe button and if not welcome back to my channel so i wanted to bring you guys this super glitter glittery look i incorporated some blues and some purples because that's exactly what i was kind of going for and it's the vibe that i was kind of feeling i wanted to do something that was blue and purple and i wanted to go ahead and put some glitter because it's been a while since i've done like a uh like a real like glitter look so i wanted to incorporate that and yes this is what i am feeling i hope you guys like this look as usual everything will be listed down in the description box don't forget to check that out and also be sure to follow me on all my social media because i'm always posting on my instagram and my snapchat of course i'm not too big onto twitter i have one but i'm not really on there but i also do have a facebook account as well that i'm kind of acting on active on as well so yeah if you guys like this look and want to see how i got this look continue to stay watching continue to watch stay blessed stay beautiful and i'll see you guys in my next one Mwah. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So on today's look, we are going to be using the James Charles palette because I've been having this palette forever and I have not touched it. So the first shade we're going to be taking is this purple shade called Single and I'm going to use that as my first crease color. The second shade, well this shade I'm going to be using it to blend out that purple is the shade called Mary, and I'm going to be using that to blend out the purple. I really should have took a different color, but that's the color that I took at the time to blend out this purple. I'm sorry, you guys, if y'all hear any noise in the back, it's my sister being highly rude and disrespectful for while I'm trying to do this voiceover. And now I'm going to take these two shades called Canvas and Punch Me, and I'm going to use that as my... Bear, uh, my brow bone highlights. I didn't want nothing too much going on my brows. Just wanted something subtle and clean. So that's what I'm using. And I'm just gonna take that brush again and I'm gonna use it to blend that, uh, blend those two colors out. Now I'm taking this darker shade called Escape and I'm gonna use that to further define this crease area. And now I'm taking that black in the palette called Spooky, and I'm going to use that to further uh, define and deepen up that crease area as well. I really should have took these colors up a little bit more higher, but it is what it is. The look is already done. Went ahead and cut my crease. Now I'm taking this neon blue pigment from this brand called Glit Cosmetique that I've been working with for a while. I will have my coupon code listed below in the description box so you guys can check them out and save some points at the same time. And now I'm taking these two glitters from this company that I found on Instagram. And the, it's called Glitter Me Cosmetics. Um, and the two glitters that I use, I put Static Shock in the inner corp, um, portion of my eye, which is a silver shade. And then the blue one that I use is called um, Baby Bliss. It's really, really pretty. It's blue with specks of different colors in it. It's really pretty. So that's the um, glitter that I decided that I wanted to use for this purple and blue theme look that I got going on. Went ahead and did my lashes off camera per usual. Now I'm taking the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 490. I am aware that it's a little dark, but I'd rather go a little dark than a little light because, you know, when you're done highlighting everything, you know, you're you're fine. So um, that's the way I'm working with the foundation for now. This is a pretty good foundation though. So that's what I'm using. Now I'm just taking my Shop Miss A Beauty Blender and I'm going to use that to uh, blend out my foundation. Now I'm taking my highlighter by um 
makeup revolution in the shade f13 well this is found it's a foundation but i use it as a concealer um you know if if you guys are like familiar with makeup revolution their concealers comes in the small in a small tube and i found a foundation that was the exact same shade as the concealer shade that i was using so i just figured like why not i can use this as my highlighter so that's what i that's what i usually do now and i'm just using my beauty blender again to uh, blend that out and let me know if you guys want to continue to see my face routine in my videos because i usually don't include this part become because it becomes a little redundant so if you guys want to see it i'll continue to keep it in the video if not i will continue to take it out of my videos so just be sure to let me know down in the comment section Now I'm taking my Sasha Buttercup powder and I'm going to use that to set my highlighted areas. And I did not show you guys me contouring my face. I used my LA Girl Pro Concealer and Mahogany to contour my face. And I just took these two shades from the Juvia's Nubian 2 palette that I usually like to use. And I just used that to set the rest of my, my contour um, I didn't feel like it was necessary for me to include in my video, in my video, so I just skipped that, edited that part out. And I'm just using this Real Technique brush to blend out my powder that I use on my face. And now I'm taking this Black Radiant Setting Powder in the shade Dark or Deep. I don't know which one that I use. I don't know the color of the powder that I use, but I'll be sure to leave it down in the comment section because I don't remember what the color of the, uh, the, color of the powder is. I did. I kind of went a little heavy with the powder, but it's okay, y'all. We're just going to dust it away, and we're going to act like that did not happen. And now I'm just taking that dark purple again called Escape and I'm using that to smudge all along on my lower lash line. And now I'm taking this silver glitter liner from Glit Cosmetique and I'm going to use that to put it to line actually on my bottom portion of my lower lash line. And I'm just taking this uh, blush palette from Juvia's Place. It's the Sahara blush palette in uh, volume two. And I'm just taking this purple shade called B and I'm using that as my blush for this look. Now I'm taking my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and I'm spraying this all over my face and I'm taking this Wet n Wild Loose Highlighter called All Glown Up. And I'm gonna be using that to highlight my face. I really been liking um, their hot their loose highlighters lately. They have there's a couple of them that they have, but I only bought two. And this is this one happens to be my favorite one. So this is the one that I wanted to use for this look. guys know i like a love a nice glow this um highlighter is popping 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 you know your girl got the glow you gotta see my highlight from a distance away all that good stuff so, yeah now make sure i get the nose in that forehead And now for my lips, I'm taking this Y2K lip liner from the um, 
brand NYX and I'm taking the Dose of Colors liquid lip stain in the shade Let's Cuddle and that's the lip combination I will be using in this look as well. So y'all yeah, been doing a lot of shopping, a lot of shopping. If you guys really want to see a product haul, let me let, um, just let me know, but it's a lot of products. So just be aware. The video has come to an end. That is it for this look. Thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to check out the description box for everything that I use for this look. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching.